come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the only movie review podcast that comes at you every Saturday. I don't know if that's true, but we do every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a quest for total world domination. Mm -hmm. And you're helping us out with that by listening to the show, and you can go that extra mile by clicking that like or subscribe button, because all that stuff helps us get found by other folks like you. These are the Internet Radio Superstars. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela. What did we watch tonight? Where did we go? We went down. We went down. The parentheses of the shaft. We went down the shaft. We went down the shaft. <laughs> uh, We're not going to say that often, but tonight yes. we did. So, and so enjoy it while last. <laughs> so, was this a long shaft? <laughs> uh, 102 fours. So pretty long. long. It's a pretty long shaft. shaft. What did they say? The longest in New York City, right? Uh, true. So, this is the shaft. So sure. the, yeah. the longest shaft is what this should have been called. <laughs> yeah. So depending on where you live in the world, it may have been called down yep or Worth the shaft and right now you'll find it on streaming services as down okay but Probably it was on here. dvd as the shaft okay <laughs> so you got, but, you got okay that. it might be listed under the shaft but the poster might still say down or the dvd Look cover might still other, say down yeah, yeah. and imdb it. calls it the shaft but uses a poster that says down so yep. it's confusing okay so yep. there you go what year yep. 2001 2001 which i don't don't Where's know why set? I didn't put this together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to my therapist about this because she told me I bring up 9-11 too much. <laughs> you need to. Uh... And then I end up accidentally picking a movie I've never seen before that is basically about 9-11. Maybe you just haven't processed it. I don't think so. I don't I think so. I got a book so. for you. You can read it. I think fine. it's like the define. I think it's because it's like, the- this is my defense to her, right? Okay. Is is Well, it's the defining tragedy of my generation. Well, like, you, you know, so yes, obviously I'm going to reference it a lot. But she... <laughs> She pointed it out because okay, this is gonna sound really sad, but I promise it's funny. So she was she there's a, there's a thin line there. It, it 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 ended up being funny. But so she told me in one session, she was like, So tell me, you know, what it what it felt like when you lost your dog. And she was like, she's like really described to me like personally what it felt like to you. And I was like, I was like, man, it felt like my world stopped and the world kept spinning. I was like, it felt like 9-11. And I was like, it felt like 100 9 in my heart. And for something about us saying me saying out loud 100 9 in my heart turned around to be funny you know what i'm saying like and then we both started laughing and she was like okay she was like well that puts it in perspective for me she was like i didn't expect you to go to a place of 9-11 but here we are i mean so, it, all, it has also turned into like the easiest thing for us to reference it's a, her name. because it's everyone like, knows what it means yeah, right like, like, and i've heard many people say that was my 9-11 yeah or, that was my yeah, 9-11 yeah, 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 it's yeah. it's just like a it's just shorthand it's way a joke, of saying like, jesus is like 9-11 yeah exactly like, like that's it's, what it's turned into 20 years later well that's like my husband has pointed out i use 100 9-11s as an analogy for a lot of things he was like he said that i said that about one of the batman versus superman movies wow, oh, he said wow. that like their battle against yeah. each okay, other was okay. like 100 9-11 so yeah. you need to tell your therapist that so she knows the <laughs> yeah, scale yeah. you're on like, here. I use 9-11s like, oh, for everything. Sense, but I yeah. also called this that. Oh, yeah. we have some things to work yes. through. Okay. So, yeah, this is <laughs> basically as close as you're going to get to like a 9-11 movie that wasn't intentionally a 9-11 movie, right? Yes. Well, I mean, this it's movie, not, Okay. It, terrorism in a... In, in the York tallest building in Manhattan in the year 2001. Yeah. 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 Bin Laden okay, so is that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. even the footage of the vans in the underground parking yep. garage at There's night, which is to the, literally yeah. happened. Yes. Yeah. But the, now, just to be clear, this, so this movie was made prior to 2001. Mm-hmm. And then I, we think we were, we're trying to do some research here. We think it was never actually theatrically released in the States because it came out in Cannes. Yeah, May eleventh, two thousand one. It went. It premiered at Con, and then it was quietly released on DVD in two thousand. Which makes sense why they would change the name, right? Because if everyone knows there's this movie out there called Down that maybe is like talking about terrorism and nine eleven. Yeah. Maybe if you change the but title, is it you know. about terrorism? Some people think it is in this movie. There's so, a lot yeah, of terror in the movie, talk. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, the so the president himself. Uh, yeah. we, did we say who directed this movie? Dick Moss Dick or Moss. Mass? Dick Moss. Uh, and there's two A's. Moss. Yeah, yeah Moss. He's a, That's a Moss. Dutch, he's Dutch. filmmaker. Mm-hmm. Who would we would know from? Amsterdam, which is a movie. Oh, we should know. We know him from my future list for the freak show. I have like three of this guy's movies on my list. Oh. So Amsterdam, which is about a serial killer in Amsterdam, yeah. which sounds really cool. It was sure. like great title. I remember 
It wasn't as cool as the trailer made yeah. it out to be. A lot of people have found it since, but he's like a frog man in the canals yeah. that comes up and kills people, and oh. the police are trying to that's figure That's so out cool. I want to watch it. Yeah, that sounds creepy. Uh, yeah. And then uh, another one that's been on my list for a while, uh, the 2016 movie Prey, which is about a rabid lion that breaks out of the Amsterdam Zoo and, re- and like wreaks havoc on the streets of Amsterdam, okay. and it looks terrible and awesome. Okay. Yeah, I was so, going to say, are you viewing tonight? Has this changed anything on, on the I, list? I'm, I'm all in on the, okay. the filmography of Dick Moss, Dick man. Moss. Yeah. Um, and he also did the Liv movie Moss. the original Dick version Moss. of this movie, The Lift, uh, which was which is regarded as one of the Netherlands best horror films and apparently is a legitimately good movie. Yeah, 1983 yeah. he made that one. Yes. So I was trying and to figure out if that was the one that I saw in video stores. That for seems more days. likely. But like would it have been here? But I remember like there was some elevator movie. It feels like it was the lift, but maybe, I don't know, whatever. Okay, yeah. so he directed this movie mm-hmm. in ne- the Netherlands. Yes. The Luftwagen. As the lift. And yep. So this is the American remake. Yes. The American lift. Well, yes. American. Oh, yeah, American, we say that. Yeah, yeah. It's for an American audience. It has a lot of American folks in it. It's I not think written it's, by an American. I'll no, tell you it's that. written by Dick Mudd. Yep. Yes, yes. Rewrote his original script, <laughs> which now we got to track down the original version of this. Because <laughs> yes. this movie was wild yeah. i mean i'm coming off of just finishing it and there's still kind of a charge in the atmosphere <laughs> of like what the holy fuck? do you feel like there's a lightning storm colin yeah like a bolt uh, could hit us at any moment yes i'm never gonna take an elevator again it's, it's, <laughs> it was devil and then it got upped with this one <laughs> but did you feel that this movie like took a turn like for an hour it was like oh this is kind of the movie that I thought it was going to be and then all of a sudden it just goes bug nuts crazy I mean like I, fucking lost its goddamn mind it took we, none of us had seen this before some right yeah, no, yeah. No, no, I, I no, hadn't I seen it this. but I knew some of the major things that happened on my research okay. so like a couple of things I knew were coming but a few things still surprised me how it, did you f- come to this movie yeah uh, so I was scrolling Naomi Watts's IMDB because I wanted to bring funny games but I God didn't know if I had the emotional endurance for funny games. Okay. I mean, it, like yeah. if, if you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. Um, and so I was like, well, she's been in a lot of weird shit. There's got to be something else. And I like her. And then I was like, I saw the poster, which is like that face with the hands <sighs> pulling the elevator open. Yeah. I was like, is that a haunted elevator movie? And then I was like, oh, <laughs> and then I saw Ron and, Perlman. And I'm Dan still Hedaya. sitting here going, I don't know if it is. Yeah. I saw all the cast, like Michael Ironside. And I was like, oh, my God, this is like there's legit people in this movie. Yeah. And so I was yeah. like, well, now I need to know what this is about. So, yeah, we're going to so learn lucky what IMDb scroll brought all these people people together yeah because yeah, i mean even now when you're saying that this is still from that rarefied age where like they got like you know i mean like major faces yeah. to play bit parts mm-hmm. in these i mean to me this felt like a big budget movie yeah um because yeah. there's a lot of Can't like find any budget information online no because they yeah. had to create a whole building from scratch i'm guessing or at least yeah. pieces Several up floors of it but yeah. big big even sets digi- you know? mm-hmm. big sets and digitally they had to yeah. do something with that building and a lot of not there uh, there's and we think that most of the movie was shot in the netherlands most of it interiors was. Yeah. interiors netherlands but yes. there's a bunch of new york exteriors where yep. you have your characters like you know driving up or whatever mm-hmm. big yeah. crane shots mm-hmm. and all that stuff on the streets of new york so mm-hmm. um big co-production is, yes. it feels like um all right so you said naomi watts yes. is in this movie so just about Dick Moss, a little bit more about him. More about Dick he Moss. scores his own movies. Moss Dick. So was that him doing the yes, score? Because yeah. it wasn't his oh. name; it was somebody else. Yeah, he says he scores all his own movies. Um, he he claims now I don't I don't know how true this is. He claims he was offered the chance to direct a Nightmare on Elm Street sequel. He doesn't say which one it was, and he says he turned it down. Idiot. Jesus. Well, and then been, Amsterdam was like 88. Yeah. So he would have been like Elm the, Street 5. Yeah. You know? And then he also, after that, was offered a canon movie with JCVD and turned it down. That's would like that have been party. Cyborg? It had you know what I mean? Like, right? that, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, and he, say, and he says, like, those, those two like turndowns is why he never had success in Hollywood. And I'm like, well, yeah, duh, dude, uh, you got, can you imagine if we got handed either one of those opportunities, we would lose our minds, right? Like, yeah, you got to start. You imagine like, if someone comes to us and says, we want you guys to direct a nightmare on Elm street sequel. We don't care what number it is. Me, right. If they came to me tomorrow and said, you get to direct scream seven. I'd be like, fuck yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. So God. And, and now I know got I'm a, feeling those same feelings. And he got a second chance with the JCVD movie and turned it down too. Can you imagine Dick Did Moss he, doing Canon movie? 
movies? Wouldn't well, that be amazing? Well, I guess we're JCVD. saying that, like, so he missed his. This was his shot at his, trying to yeah. break into the yeah. uh, into Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Failed apparently at the box. Uh, nobody saw this movie. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, and so then he retreated back to the Netherlands the, yep. and keeps making movies mm-hmm. there. Okay, but he's still working. Yeah, he's still working. Okay, good Last for I him. checked, he still had stuff going on. So all right, well, like that um, prey movie, that lion movie, yeah. that was 2016. That was super recent. So yeah, it's a it's a fully CGI lion. Too, oh yeah, so I would uh, expect nothing yeah. less. I'm, I'm, a, I'm pretty sure I've seen the trailer. With for Megan that. Fox was she in like a movie with a lion? She was. She was like was a she? hunter. Was that, yeah, this? that was a low budget. What? Recently, was it, Prey? Was it that no. one? That seems know. like it was more recent, but maybe click on that. But she was no, in a Pre- lion. No, movie. Prey has like all Dutch people in it. Oh, that's right. like a that's like. But a you're right, Colin. Within like the last two years, she did a lion movie where she was a hunter or something like that. Do you guys know what Dick Moss looks like? No. Well, I'm going to show Why you his IMDb know? picture, and it will not surprise you at all. Okay. Oh man, he looks uh, like a the German, coolest guy ever, right? Like he looks like, uh, well, not like Sprocket. Oh no, leather jacket, <laughs> Matrix Sprocket. sunglasses. He yep. looks like a character from now's the, the time Matrix. Sprocket's yes. gonna yes. be dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop popped, smiling and dance. On, yeah. His collar's popped on the leather jacket, yeah. and oh, no. he's got the sunglasses on. He's a real cool. We might dude. have to post that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what you. When's dre- that album come you out? You have to dress like this when your name's Dick Moss, right? Dick Moss, yeah. yeah. Dick Moss. yeah. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Well, good for wow. him. Yep. Um, okay, so Naomi Watts, we said, is in this movie, but I was trying to watch it, and I'm like, when the hell did she actually... So when was, like, Mulholland Later Drive? Later the same year. Yeah, that Mulholland was Drive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then what? R- the Ring was 2003? Yeah, because yeah, it feels like she was all talked about because of Mulholland Drive, and yep. then The Ring was, like, her first big, like, mm-hmm. you know, Hollywood mm-hmm. movie yeah. before, yep. you know, King Yeah, Kong this came out right before stuff. Mulholland Drive. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So she's a fledgling actress mm-hmm. trying to make her way <laughs> at least it takes, didn't come out after yeah yeah uh but the main star of the movie which i was kind of surprised because i thought naomi watts obviously she's top billed now right. you right. know but she's not actually the star of the movie and for the first half she appeared so infrequently that i was i would actually forget that she was in the movie yeah. right um and then it was like then she becomes like in the second half like the co-star um so who's the main who's the who's our star james marshall Everybody knows James Dad. Marshall. He's from Twin Peaks, right? I, yes. And like not much else, like a say, few good I've men, maybe or something. Yeah, he was in a few good men because yep. he was one of the Marines. They tried to make him. Uh, he was James on Chin- Twin Peaks. That was Laura Palmer's secret. Uh, uh, you know, the motorcycle dude. Oh, okay. and uh, they tried briefly to make a movie star out of him because I remember he was in a movie. If I'm correct, it was called Gladiator. And it was about like bare knuckle boxing or something like that. I mean, that's what his um his his IMDb profile picture is like him boxing. Yeah, that's so, Gladiator. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, it's I think it was called Gladiator. If I'm right, was Cuba Gooding Jr. also in that movie? Jeez, oh, I gotta find Probably. it now. Okay, well anyway, I think that was like you know, and it didn't do very well in his movie career. Oh, no, I don't understand why. Is he uh, British? Is he no, American? He's American? Yeah. Oh, there's no excuse for this performance no. then, because no, this guy he's, is he's the most like British-looking sleepy. American I've ever seen. He looks like uh, he, he looks, looks like, like a, um, a, a uh, Johnny. Uh, he looks like Beckham. Oh, I was gonna say the guy from uh, from uh, Hackers. <laughs> he does a little the haircut, especially John, Yeah, Johnny. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, right. He's in Johnny. Uh, wow, what's his train name? spotting? Uh, Johnny Lee Miller. Johnny Lee Miller. Yes. Thank you very. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he was in the Sherlock on CBS. Sherlock on CBS. I, 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 I forget that it's him. <laughs> but he, no, we, what do we say? He looks like Tom Brady. Yeah, he does look like Tom Brady. Like, especially Tom Brady, 2001 like, Tom Brady. Yeah. looks just like he's him. Just like, oh, yeah. Which is why I want to punch him in the face. He yep. doesn't, he's not, I don't feel like he's good. No, yeah, I don't I think so either. Way. Yeah. Not leading man material. No. Yeah, which is probably why it didn't work out for yeah. him. But at least they tried for a while. Some agents or something, like he was the hot, you know, like commodity of that time. And we're going to make a movie star out of him. And mm-hmm. I always kind of, well, I mean, take a perverse pleasure. And when that <laughs> doesn't actually happen. <laughs> when they try and make like someone. Kit Harrington, like, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, he's going to be great. And he like, crashed and burned yeah. so fast. Just Taylor like, Lautner. Can... Remember when he was oh, the leading yeah. man? Oh, like, the... no, these guys can do Abduction. A I saw abduction. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. Um, all right. So we may or may not have a movie about a haunted elevator. Mm. That is, we're I'm going still not into sure. it. <laughs> and we're like, it's called the shaft or down or the lift. So we know there's something going on with this elevator. Yeah. And we are treated to uh, the. We enter into this movie 
to the Millennium Building in New York City, which is right next to the uh, Empire State Building, but it's taller. It's taller. Mm-hmm. It's uh, one of its, its most famous landmark. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we've never heard of because it's because it's fabricated for this movie, but uh, it's great. It stands there in it's CGI glory, and on the uh, and it has uh, there's a couple security guards who are watching hookers across the way using the telescope. It's like two in the afternoon, right? And this no, guy. No, it's at night. Yeah, it was, was at it night. night? Yeah, yeah, it's at night. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. But like they, I'm just like, would they be able to see it, see from that distance at night? But I've seen enough movies where I'm going to say yes. Yep. They're they're in, on the observation deck, looking through the like pay to view like goggle things. Yeah, right, yeah. And yeah. Uh, they're watching these two hookers and this very European man. Yep. And we're like, okay. And there's but also there's something boobs, about like right like, away. Right away. Oh, yeah. This is the first scene after the the fly in to the you know. That guy's just going yes. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But what happens here? There's a there's a the elevator dings or makes a strange whatever, and the guy goes over and one the guy goes to piss. Closed, the other guy goes, and they it crushes his flashlight. Yep. The door like, like aggressively like is, must shut. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, I'm spooked out. I don't want to take this elevator. Which and that's the scene basically, right? It was like a little tease at the beginning. Yes. Okay, but I mean, at this point, I was kind of, I guess, expecting that this was there's somebody was going to die in the elevator, like right. in the first scene. Well, I think we're too. Uh, uh, we're used to the slasher set up for everything. Aren't well, we, we kind of are. I said yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm still in scream mode. I'm expecting opening kills in this shit or something. Mm-hmm. Which well, usually, I think, I think that's the more. Uh, it's the filmmaking we do now. I think there is usually some. I think they did that it then at the too. Beginning. That's why I think yeah. this movie it didn't have because you. I think as a storytelling thing, you need to have a hook. Yeah. And me watching a guy getting a flashlight crushed is not really a hook because I have yeah. no idea what's happening. It's like okay, there's something with the wrong with the elevator. Yeah. You know? And that's all we get for a while. I think this movie thinks it's more like prestige than it is. You know what I'm saying? And I think this movie thinks it's above not. like a like an opening gag. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Maybe. I read something. At least that- the first half of this movie has that kind of tone, right? It has it has a it's like okay, so I'm going to say it's lethargic. Yeah. Is that like <laughs> the a pacing to- is a real problem. Yes. In this movie. It's too long. We get could Oh, cut, definitely too could long. Cut a good 20 minutes out of this movie. Yes. I, okay, so I guess that's where I'm going with this. It feels like because by the end of the movie, the pace is ramped up like crazy yeah. compared to that first half yes. where it's like okay, now we're getting details about James uh Marshall's like ex-girlfriend who's sleeping with this other guy. Yeah, what like, was that all what about? The f- why is this in yeah. the movie? Right. Who yeah. is he? so many Why? interpersonal connections and stuff that don't matter? Yeah, but are keeping Naomi Watts sidelined. Right. right, this is runtime right. where she's not in it. You right. know, and it's like, what are we doing with all these extraneous characters? Yeah, because- we don't have to set him up as well. I mean, they're setting him up as like he got his heart broken or he's single, so they they want to set yeah. up chemistry. And this is I th- what they thought was step one in doing that, showing that he's showing that women like him. I have yeah. no idea. I I. I I don't know. It well, was a, uh, yeah, it was a long scene to convey that information to, you yeah. Know? And what is his I guess for the audience, what's his character? Who is he? What does he do? He's a elevator maintenance guy. And apparently like they're all in teams like cops. Did you guys feel like yeah. the yeah, way that they yeah. talked about like their partner was like their detectives that have been out working together right? for like, thirty years? It's, and like, it's like you're working. You're, I'm your partner today. It's just like wow. I kind of like the attitude of it. This kind of got all screwy for me. Yeah. Where I was like, wait, what's going on? Because the whole the world building we didn't know about has. Uh, well, he's also a frustrated musician. Okay, I picked that up That's because right. like mm-hmm. you know more extraneous stuff. I'm sure there was a scene they cut out for the brevity where of the. Where he's actually time. trying to play the guitar instead yeah, of dance yeah. with it. He likes to repair <laughs> jukeboxes, you know. Pinball um, machines. His what's life without real music? bachelor pad apartment he's got going on here. Yep, and he's a drunk because the first time we meet him, he's like, he can't find his keys and he's locked in his car. Um, oh, yeah. So there was a scene, I guess, you know, you're talking about the teams. And this is where it started going like, wait, wait. so the building has these security guards mm. who watch all the monitors. Mm-hmm. When something goes wrong with the elevator, they have to call in the building maintenance people, right? Mm-hmm. Who are trying to work on the elevator. But then if something really happens, then you have to call the actual elevator company guys yep. to yes. come in. And they're the and, company guys. Yeah. yeah. 
So it's like you got three levels of meteor people, elevators, all in uniforms, different uniforms. They have to deal with these elevators. That's mm-hmm. right, meteor elevators. Mm-hmm. And then there's bureaucracy above that. Yeah, people in charge and people in charge of them. Yeah, Secret. Ron Perlman's like Ron- the boss of the elevator company. Yeah. Which, so he's like the police captain who chews yeah, out the dude for blowing he, up too much of the city. That's how he's playing <laughs> that's it. Like. That's exactly how he's which playing it. Which is what it. I want him yes, to do. Yeah. Which is because he yeah yeah. They, Stop fucking up. This right, movie, he comes in for an ass chewing and it's great. This movie takes a lot of like lethal weapon pastiche and puts it over this yeah. like elevator company, which is very sure. strange. Yeah, but. it's goofy, but yeah. I mean, I kind of uh, liked it that it was kind of nuts. Like, right. And, um, it also, the elevator company has a secret scientific uh, research division, but we'll yeah. come back to that. Like every evil, <laughs> evil corporation does. I'm convinced my job has some secret research I lab I don't hope know so. about. I'm starting to believe more and more. <laughs> but they have to have guys in white coats, otherwise you just don't really yep. sell it. You yep. have to run around a scientist in a white coat. There's got to be a hallway where all the fluorescent lights come on at one at a time yep, down yep, it when, yep. I, when I discover it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm afraid to go stumbling around my office now. I don't uh, want to get in trouble. Yeah, you know, or it's in a yeah. I don't want to see something I'm not supposed to. You know. Yeah, because then you're you're, mm-hmm. you're just you have key cards. I have to get you. Okay. Oh, so I do have a key card in the building. Yeah, because I don't die because I don't want to have to like investigate. Yeah. In, my, in my own personal time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't want to have to take up this mantle like that they're doing this movie to solve the cause. Yeah, I don't, don't want to have to do solve that. your murder. <laughs> Everyone, please stay alive. <laughs> well, there's a Holly, series of. Escalating mishaps, let's say. So what, escalating, escalating. What? Yeah, they. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't not not elevating. They're escalating, yeah. not elevating. And a series of they're elevating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what are the? Uh, before we actually have to get like you know the White House involved. What are the? Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> what are does the happen? Yeah. <laughs> We're not kidding. The you president it was speaks on this. <laughs> speaks. This is okay. a very high issue. So what would you say that this issue goes all the way to the top? It goes all the way to the top. (laughs) Good one. Okay. So what, so give me the, uh, so what, what, what happens? What, what what draws people attention? The first one, which feels like a, like a high aim for your first targeted uh, victims, right? Group of very pregnant women. Oh yeah, whole group of pregnant women. Which I was like, wow, this this movie's just not holding back right away. Like these are going to be the first victims, huh? Like they're, they have a yoga class up on whatever floor and they get in the elevator all like what nine of them together mm-hmm. yeah. um, and they're all severely pregnant um and it and probably it gets, all farting just, <laughs> just based on all those pregnant women in the elevator Ugh. stuck between uh floors 21 and 22 and they start freaking out and and one of the security guards his really? wife is the one in there and it gets hot, it malfunctions, and they have they two of them give violent frying. births in the Water elevator. Water breaks. Well, because the, it drops, yes. right? I think the elevator uh, oh, drops. Oh, yeah, drops. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, And as it, it crashes yeah. to the bottom, unfortunately, all, all the, the babies, babies don't fall <laughs> out onto the floor, which is what <laughs> which I really Which would have been wanted. funny. But, uh, but yeah. let's mark that down for future. Yeah. Yeah. The sequel. Yeah, for something. Because yeah. that would have been funny. It would have been. They can fly out. And they're still stuck. They like bungee because they're still yeah. stuck to the cords. Yeah. So would the sequel be called like <laughs> down? Like or, like there'd have to be a down play to... on like level two or floor two, right? Something Ooh. like that, right? Down to the second floor. There you go. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Uh, Dick, if you're I asked to write it, Dick. Yeah. yeah, we'll write it for you. Um, but what I was, I guess, trying to figure out when this scene happened, it's like, okay, they hit, and it's like, oh my god, that's probably bad for the babies, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then all of a sudden they start giving birth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, water breaks, yep. and then there's, I see a head coming and out. One like, of them looks like she dies. And there's like crazy Dutch angles and this green flashing <laughs> light all Dutch over their face. <laughs> Why would there be? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, and it's just very intense. But kind of comical, it like how comical. it's shot, you know. Because like, not only are I mean, it's comical the way uh, the way they react is very fast. Although if I was stuck in an elevator, who knows? Yeah. Um, but also, like everyone is putting on an American New York accent in this movie. Yes. Yeah. Most people are, and they're losing it. Like you yeah. can hear yeah. in times in the movie where they're just like, "Oh, you're British. You're yeah. from somewhere else." <laughs> yeah. And so they lose it. At certain Even though we watch struggles a couple times, there is yeah. some parts in this mm-hmm. where we're just like, "Woof." Mm-hmm. And it gets worse later in the control room where they're just like, these are fucking New Yorkers. Yeah. And they the way they try and do a New York accent <laughs> yeah. is they try and say every word yeah. uh, perfectly, mm-hmm. but yeah. in within a New York accent. Yeah. They're trying to get every word out. Then they bring mm-hmm. in a real New Yorker and he's just kind of like, eh, yeah. eh, the fucking elevator's going up. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Well, they didn't camouflage the accent of the German uh, kindergarten or preschool. <laughs> oh, no. my God. But like, there's a scene in the middle of this movie where you're just like, what the hell? Where this woman is like, you 
children are going to be just she's, like, she's, she's in a marching. daycare. Yes. She's in a daycare. She's smoking, and she looks like if you were to draw like cartoonish evil German woman, this is what she would look yeah. like. Like she is the most stereotypical, like severe looking. She's like you will never smoking. make it through life. Most of you going to end up on drugs or drinking. Didn't she say I something though? That, like uh, something about dying a house fire. Like, right. You'll be, if you're you'll lucky, do, you'll right. die if in a house yeah. fire. Yeah. If you drink bleach, you're dying yeah. a house fire. Yeah, yeah. In five years, you'll be selling your bodies. And yeah. yeah. It's like what the? Hell? Maybe she's a big <laughs> thing in the Netherlands. Right. That's why she's in the. They have an oh, antagonism with Germany, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. But there's gotta be a reason, right? Yeah. And. She loses it. Well, because you also have a German scientist behind all this. So yes, there's a exactly. little bit of this going on. Yeah. And uh, he, he might as well have been American. Wouldn't it matter? He was German. There was no accent. This is Michael Ironside. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, what's yeah, it? Yeah. They just call him the German a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. The Steinberg, German. But yeah. nothing else about him is German. On a, yeah. No. But his name is Gunter. They're like, yeah. Germans are evil. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so the the women, uh, several of them die. There's a problem. And then uh, Naomi Watts is a newspaper reporter mm-hmm. who is assigned to the story. Yes. yes. Um, um, the they second- did cut from the smashing of the uh, of the opening of the elevator doors to the pregnant woman to eggs cooking on a griddle. And we yes, were like, in a diner. What in yeah. the did they hell? cook the children? Yeah. yeah. What? Like, I don't understand this. Wait, it's strange. No, you film said language. something funny. You said. You said- did you say, did they cook the baby eggs? You said they, baby yeah, they, eggs. I did. I'm just like, well, they're not eggs anymore. Was I said that one under my breath. Be like no. the splattered babies? The that's eggs? what I was thinking. That's what they're going yeah. for? They're, like an egg is a splattered <laughs> chicken baby. Yeah. I mean, that was the, that was the thought. <laughs> <laughs> chicken babies. So uh, then, then there's a blind man. Oh, yes, yeah. and his dog. Okay, but this blind guy. Okay, this movie. What was it we were watching watching recently? Where everyone was an asshole because everyone's an asshole in this movie too, right? Probably the whole. There was something more recent than that, though. I everyone's thought. Everyone's an asshole. Yeah, we were watching uh, something Halloween where everybody was an asshole. Kills. Well, everybody all yeah, all those movies. But in this one, like the villains are painted so villainous right off the bat that you're rooting for them to die. Yeah. You know, like this guy, this blind guy. You're like. Well, he's but, an asshole. But so. everybody wasn't an asshole because, like, those nurses at the end were like very friendly. Yeah, and you're like, those yeah. aren't American nurses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no but- offense to American nurses, there are many in my family. <laughs> I guess like the, tar- the targets of the elevator are vilified yes. a lot of the yeah. time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Him, him, and his dog go for a walk. Well, before that, they well, go yeah. to he goes to his hairstylist to get his hair done. And she dyes it green because he's blind and he's an asshole regular customer. And she's telling him that she's not going to be working there anymore so he can't come see her. And I have told this lie before. I spot this. You have a creepy customer and you tell them you're not going to be working there anymore so they stop coming. Yeah. She's definitely still working that job. She just doesn't want this guy to come back. Yeah. Um, and he can't see. So what, yeah, exactly. what's he going to know? And um, like, can I look at you one last time? And feels her up all over, and it's very uncomfortable. And that's like that's when you're like, okay, so the elevator is going to kill this guy because yeah, yeah, he's he's the next one. He's dead meat, and it turns out he is because the elevator opens the door, and he can't see that there's no elevator Mm -hmm. there. So he goes right down and pulls the fucking dog with him. That was horrible. I know, I know. I have to take responsibility for this one. Don't yeah, Holly, this was her fault. Yeah, yeah, I know. And once start as soon as they showed the dog, you just knew it was going to happen. Yeah, I was just like, oh well, there we go. I think there's several scenes where the mechanic guys are brought in. And, Too many. Uh, James uh, Marshall and his partner, because they were both former U.S. Marines who are now uh, mechanics. Yes. And this also it doesn't seems matter. like no. the partner got him into the job. Yes. Mm-hmm. And is kind of sticking his neck out to keep him on the job. Yes. Um, but this is like a big deal, right? Mm-hmm. Like they, they make like a lot out of this. And yeah, these guys keep getting called back. Edward Herman is the building uh, manager. Yes. Yeah. Love to see him pop up in weird genre yeah. stuff. So it's he always gets to treat. yell at them and they yeah. get to Anna. And yeah, then big man he is. a, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the, uh, which I, th- I was thinking that this was the best kill in the movie, but one of the secure, the two of the security guards are playing peekaboo with uh, the elevator. Cause like the secu- on the security camera, like somebody's riding the elevator and they're yeah. opening the doors, but they're not getting out. So they're still in there. And these two guys, uh, the one guy, I think it was his wife, uh, was in the elevator yeah. mm-hmm. at, at the beginning. The moron. These are the two guys who were spying on the hookers at the at the beginning. Yep. Yes. But one of them ends up getting his head stuck in a sh- in between the doors in an empty shaft. Like you do. 
And the way they do it, because like, you know, it is that they're like, oh no, the elevator's moving. It's coming back down slowly. I uh, love that know? it's slow. Oh yeah. my God. And it's he's such standing a- up. Yes. So he eventually gets pushed down to his stomach and then sliced. Yes. Which yeah. like, I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be your typical, like fast, like cut off the cables elevator yeah, where yeah. it just comes down like a guillotine. Fuck. No, yeah. the slow no, yeah. is way it was better. The, the fucking horrifying version. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what would have been cool? <laughs> As if that head, like, cut to the um, uh, ground floor elevator, it opens up for people to get in, and the head yeah, bashes yeah, yeah. through the top into the into the, <laughs> and into that's the where car. you have the field trip of kids, and they all just go. Ah! <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, I, I'm so mad that they talked about how much tourists come here and didn't have like a field trip of kids in peril. Like, I mean, kids I, did die. Kids did die, but I just like. They they leaned on the tourist stuff so much and it didn't seem to really there pay off. There was a clown, yeah. yeah. yeah there the was clown a lot of, stuff didn't pay off A lot off of promise and yeah. not pay off. I wanted that clown to die. Yeah, there was clowns in the lobby in that opening scene yeah. and then clowns later I know, you're on. Like, yeah. what? I mean, yeah. I guess you got a lot of floors. There's yeah. probably a lot of things happening. And of in course, this. this is why we should write the sequel because we see the clowns and out loud. We're already immediately spitballing how this <laughs> is going to go. And our idea is, well, someone's going to get stuck in elevators terrified of clowns with the clowns, right? So they're going to have two levels of panic, the, the elevator stuck and the clowns. And then we just keep spitballing ideas like this. <laughs> this is why we should be writing the sequel. <laughs> I mean, you know? we should like, just write Dick, a sequel to every... Yeah. 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 We're, we're Mr. ready Moss. to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's another. Okay, so that I thought was like, oh wow. Okay, so that's like that was a pretty good, like a horrifying, you know. Yes. Getting your head lopped off by a elevator. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that's going on here in the plot, but I mean, is it really necessary? We're still kind of, and this is like an hour of yeah. this kind of interpersonal. It's too much drama. of the two guys' relationship. It's so much of their relationship. Right. And they go not- to the diner and get in that fight. That doesn't matter. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah, like I don't. What did they? I'm trying and to figure we're still out what kind they of sidelining Naomi Watts through yeah. like yeah. most of this. I don't because- understand what they're trying to establish with their relationship. Well, right, because it all comes off like these two met yesterday before they started shooting, well, and now they're thrust together. It doesn't. It doesn't ultimately matter no, with what doesn't. happens with one of the characters, anyways. You right. know what I'm saying? So, like, because we learn that the one guy, which is not James Marshall, the other one, yep. had a. He, but he looks like Billy Burke. We yes, said. sure. He, sure uh, he had a partner who died in yes. mysterious circumstances, right? Like so James, a few months before. Yeah. Like very yeah. recently. And so there begins to be this whole thing with the plot where, because we don't know what the fuck is going no, on. No, we don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. We know people are dying in the elevator. Mm-hmm. Um, the mechanics can't seem to find what's going on. Or, or is this guy, the, the partner, mm-hmm. covering up something? Is he actually part of it and i think the movie around that point in time started going like you probably suspect him yeah. because now james uh marshall is going to suspect him also and so then it's like okay he's involved in something and we see him meeting with the white coat uh lab scientist yeah. michael ironside and it's like oh something's going on yeah. at the secret research facility across the way <laughs> and so he's going to team up with the reporter to try and figure out what all this is about, right? right. What, what, it, what, all right. Uh, what's the first time we get to see Naomi Watts? The first time she was in her office. Yeah. Talking, oh, right? she oh, yeah. The, the new virus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She got the virus. We introduced Chip, her, the casual misogyny of the 2001s in, yep. in the newspaper Incel. environment. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, okay. The second time we see her, she, she just walks into the men's bathroom. She yeah. is dressed in a try. She it's like she tried to dress in a maintenance uniform, but they didn't really call attention to it. Yeah. And then she's just taking pictures of dudes. And then she gets apprehended because she's not part of the thing. And as she's being taken away by the cops, she's like, "He raped me." Because they both just came out of a bathroom. Yeah. She yeah. sneak attacked him to get a picture Ooh. for her story. And she's trying everything to not be taken away. And she just blurts out, he raped me. That's she's, right. That's why he's on oof. the front page of the newspaper. Yeah. And that's why Ron Perlman does the, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? Yep. How he doesn't fire. not going to fire you. Why not? Yeah. Well, you know, because of the uh, things he said. It's like, what do you say? Like, one in 10 people don't make it out of an elevator. <laughs> one in 10 people don't make it out of an elevator alive is the stat like, that gets what? thrown out to the newspaper. And no wonder why Ron Perlman's freaking out. That's a big problem. Yeah, that's yeah. a big, that's one, a yeah. big fucking your problem. Your employees. And actually, are... that is fireable. That Sean, is you're fireable. right. That that's is for sure fireable. Your stock price is going down real quick. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine, Colin, you, go, Colin, you guys have all worked in news. <laughs> Can you imagine writing a headline about some, anything being a one in 10 shot of dying, like just anything, mm-hmm. like let alone something as common 
as an elevator, you know? Jesus. I know, and I was saying, working Jesus. in news, uh, elevator rescues happen you, all yeah, the time. Yeah, helpful. Thanks, Colin. They, yes, the now, and, uh, I might be off of the not elevators reported, now. Like. but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, guess what? They go. The fire department goes and gets people right, out yeah. or whatever. Uh, daily, daily, daily occurs. Um, <laughs> so then, okay. So at this point, we're still like, okay, is it a haunted elevator? If so, who's haunting the elevator? Because then you got a ghost or a because demon they or keep, something. They keep um, implying that like the lightning strike did something. Right to at it. the beginning, fried the computer. Yeah. So we're right. like, okay, and it and does got- end up playing a game with a little girl. Yeah. yeah, the one who escapes from yes. the Nazi. Yeah, <laughs> um, because she's running back and forth. The doors are opening up and closing, and mm-hmm. they're like, "Ha ha ha!" And the middle one opens up, and we're mm-hmm. like, "Ooh, that's the bad one." Two, three, seven. Yeah. Um. Okay, but we're still kind of within, and this is I mean, until I, it just felt like this was a lot of the running time. No, it was a I, lot of the was. running time. Okay, but then a scene happens. Then we get some rollerbladers. Yeah, the rollerbladers. <laughs> okay, so all of a sudden, like, Love in an Elevator is blasting on the, the movie soundtrack. Which, good for them, good for yeah. them. And uh, these two rollerbladers are shooting through Manhattan. And they're like, like street toughs yeah, on rollerblades. Like, yeah, they're punks. Yeah. yeah. And it's they end like up they're premium rude. delivery they're or like, something? Like they're, the- like, jumping over cars. They're cutting people off. They're being just, like, rude, obnoxious, like. Movie street toughs. Yeah. It it's cool to watch though because yeah. they are just jumping over and going through. I know because this fun. is like an action scene. It is. Yeah. And we're like, wow. They got this sparks is... coming out of the things. Is yeah. they taking corners and shit? They were go. They were skating down the upside of a parking garage. So yeah. against traffic, mm-hmm. downhill. That's scary as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. They were no in way. traffic yeah. at some point yeah. too. Yep. Maybe they... that's why we got stuck in that parking garage for so long last time. Yeah. Is just, that what happened were, when there, we got stuck There were just that random, random uh, rollerbladers who blocked the exit. <laughs> the Saturday Night Freak Show did get stuck in a parking garage yeah, recently. For like so. an hour. For an hour. Yeah. Um, it felt longer than that. At least we could take the elevator and die. Yeah, but, that's true. Well, that's one of right, them, because, yeah. One of them uh, is going around a corner, hits a car, ends up hurting his leg. And where does he slide? He slides right in front of the three bank, the, the bank of elevators. Mm-hmm. And the, this right is in front in of the, the middle. parking garage. This is in the parking garage. And then we hear ding. And that fucking thing opens up white and sucks this dude right in <laughs> from like 15 feet away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, boom. Yeah. And then we get a cut to, like, it's the 86th floor. It opens up again, and he gets thrown out. It's got to be, like, 50 feet through glass, through, through a, a, fence. a metal fence. This grate. is on the observation yeah. deck. Yes. yes. Yeah. So everyone sees it. Fired out the observation yeah. deck fired, elevator. Fired out. Yeah, like a cannon. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it was blowing a loogie <laughs> yeah. into the New York air. <laughs> And then it, he fucking falls down 86 flights and falls to his death in front of the guy he was skating with. Yeah. Blood splatter everywhere. We don't see his body, sadly. We, we just see the blood splatter, sadly, which is a bummer. But but, okay. but there was something else that happened in this scene oh. because I wasn't sure that the car that hit him actually had a driver uh. because the next thing we see... It very it happens very fast. All the yeah. car headlights come on and all the windshield wipers stand yeah. straight yeah. up yeah. and you're like... Wait, what? what? Is this yeah. a highlight? Is the quickening happening? Right. Yeah, but they don't focus on it. No. You just see it happening in the background yeah. a little bit. You see the blades but, go yeah. up, but then you yeah. see all the car lights coming. You're like, what the fuck is happening? Then, but, I, then I think the doors, right? All that yeah, happened. Yeah. Then the doors open, big bright lights suck the guy in. And so you're like. It was really cool, like cinematic <laughs> like moment. It was. Because you're just like, wow. I mean, it was like insane. Yeah. It was right, like, no, because that the was the moment like, we have, we have changed. Uh, we've gone up another floor. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to see what's on this level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Once Process level, that for a moment. More yeah. elevator. Well, I was trying. I was more Repair. investigation because uh, uh, Naomi Watts obtains the video surveillance of this yeah. and discovers that the time that it took because everybody's like, "I was a suicide." There's all these suicides <laughs> happening. There's also the Amity Beach thing happening where Edward Herman doesn't want to shut the yeah. elevators they down. They can't lose the revenue from those tourists, Colin. Yeah, I think I saw that scene three times at least, where they were in his office. Like, we can't shut it down. Like yeah. we need to shut the whole thing down we can't shut it down mm-hmm. and so uh it's our best weekend what was james marshall's character's name so i can call him by his character's name i would name? like to know myself mark I'll look at- was it mark i think it was okay mark. let's say mark yeah so so when i said hi mark it, was, yeah, it, it, worked. it really worked he even okay. came out of the shed the same <laughs> way did. there was a shot in this movie it, it like yeah sean called it out it looks exactly like when tommy was and greg go on the roof in the room it, it, yeah. it had the same type of green screen the same type of walkout shed it was eerie they played football for five minutes it was real <laughs> yeah. weird yeah because that's where the control yeah. he's mark and she's jennifer mm-hmm. okay so the control room is on the roof of the building yes. right so in a little the little shed we're gonna go back there again later so 
Anyway, she has determined through uh, the time code on the video that it took about two seconds for that guy to go in the, the elevator at the bottom. 1.8 seconds, shot out the, specifically. 1.8 seconds yeah. to get shot out the top. And so now Mark and Jennifer become a team where they're going to go and like, okay, we have to find out what the hell's going on. And this leads to uh, the partner. Yeah, they go yeah. to the partner. Dude is like acting all suspicious. Yep. And he's on a suicide run or he's something. He's got a pregnant wife as well. Yep. yep. And he kind of is like. But Edward she, Herman's like, he's the best employee. You should be more like him is kind of like his attitude. So it's like, hmm, yeah, what does he know? He you know, took me to dinner like he did that night before you yeah, guys went off to Desert Store. It wasn't yep. Desert Store. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, it was Desert Store. Yeah. And yeah. then there was, uh, and then we're also side investigating uh, 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 Michael Ironside. Yes. And we find out what about him. Well, we see him arguing with. Je- Jeff, the partner, Jeff, the partner, like it, classic sci-fi movie setup of seeing a, um, a man in a white lab coat arguing with someone who they shouldn't be talking to, right? Yep. Um, so they let it out. Yeah, exactly. It's, and um, Michael Ironside. Oh, hold on, let me see if I can backtrack and remember what his origin story was. So they started off making these bioengineered chips. Yeah, because he worked for the military. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Ones that could reproduce themselves. Yes. That's how bio. And they used to use dolphin brains, and they literally <laughs> said dolphin brains in this movie. Yep. And now, so Johnny Mnemonic ran where they failed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Secret sequel. Yeah, I was gonna say connected universes. Yeah. And now there's a thought that they're not using dolphin anymore, and that it has evolved and is can reproduce on its own. That's right. The chips that can reproduce on it on yes. their own. Okay. So there's like this whole story about chips fucking and like yeah. we're not fucking and well, we yeah. could be fucking. We have the choice that to fucking all, all this other so stuff. much all like, the sexual tension you can cut it with a knife. Yes. You all like a small <laughs> cheese knife. Like yeah. it's not that thick. Um okay so <laughs> there is a Another scene that happens involving the elevator. I want to say this is the one that involves like an entire elevator full of people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. This is like the big one. <laughs> yeah. All right. This so, is the 9-11 so, of this, this is, movie. Well, this is like this movie's like Final Destination at this point. Yeah. We're getting into. But yes, there's a there's a big crowd because they, you know, uh, uh, who cares if the shark's eating people? We have to open the elevators. Um, and so uh, back to the tourists and everything uh, climbing into the elevators. And so we get, like you said, a packed one. Or it's got everybody. It's got a it's Wait. got a black person and a white person. Yeah. And- Did the press conference happen before this? Where they say no? It's after this because this is what they think is the quote unquote terror attack. No, 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 no. That's right because this this one brings in the White House. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. but before that, but he's dead. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. so. Bernard Herman and Edward Herman mm-hmm. uh, goes into the elevator and there's drops of blood oh, falling yeah, yeah. on him yeah. oh, yeah. and Jeff's body falls out of the elevator. Shaft. Yes. So it's like, oh, my God. And then there's a police press conference. Everybody's involved. We found the guy where they're yeah. like, we found the guy who's been responsible for all the accidents and the killings. And I'm like, uh, by what? <laughs> evidence? Because this is all circumstantial. Even a reporter is like, what was his motive? Like, well, we don't know. We're still investigating. Yeah. Those vague terms. Yeah. And then they bring up something like um, uh, his, I think this is why the whole Desert Storm thing is even a part of this, because they use it to, like, well, we got his, uh, his like, medical records and psychological evaluations from being in the army, and he's a, he's a wacko, as he they say. He just snapped, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he just snapped. He's a wacko. Yeah. He's, he's got, like, he's gone through shit. And, and they have an crazy. extortion note, which uh, right. Mark doesn't believe that any of this is true. He just dismisses it all outright. Like, right. Yeah, they're making all that up. Sure. Jeff was a stand-up guy, you know. I'm like, was he? But clearly, still he was doing something. Know right. he, was, about him. he was doing, we know nothing about Jeff. And he was being shady, yeah. He was being shady as fuck and yeah. he we still don't know like his level of involvement like was he maintaining it for the doctor yeah but this it, is it all unexplained far? yeah unexplained we get nothing for Did the he sacrifice of his partner was he going there to stop it yeah did he sacrifice his partner is, yeah. is he getting to the point where maybe his partner died because he found out the truth yeah and then he's just like i can't do it anymore right i have to stop this thing all ah! of these are but options because we don't know because they won't is unexplained yes. there is a scene Right, because we're told throughout the entire movie that the partner died on fire in his car. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, but then which like that's a mob death, right? Yeah. Like yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah. there's nothing more obvious. Like we needed a hit out on this guy than died on fire in a car. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoa. So that's where we're going, right? The yeah. company killed this guy to shut him up, but Jeff's widow says that it wasn't how he died. They both died the same way. And they're like, wait, we thought he died in a car. So we're gonna go to the guys. 
to see the uh what was his name it was the same uh, um same guy his last name was the same as the guy from vanishing point who what what character are you talking uh, about where you're going the the dead partner jeff. not jeff the previous oh one. jerry Jerry, yeah. Jerry, Jerry. They go, oh, what's his last name? Oh, it's going to escape me. But yeah, so they go to Jerry's apartment. And yes. They sneak in. And in that apartment. It's a creepy altar to him. Like, yeah. Like a voodoo. Like a voodoo uh, altar. A voodoo, yeah. altar. Yeah. voodoo altar. It's not like a Catholic uh, or anything like that. It's straight up like dark magic. Yeah. And his wife, his, his widow comes out. Who I wouldn't be surprised if her name was Esmeral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wild, crazy eyes. Yeah, feels like she should be in the fortune telling business. Yeah, she's definitely like from the old country. She like feel, she's one generation yeah. removed. You know, when they go to see the fortune teller in Phantasm, yeah. feels like she should be in there. At some point, yeah. you're doing a bunch of hand movements and twirling. Like around the crystal but ball. She yeah. actually is twirling at some point. Twirling, yeah. twirling, and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> screaming and twirling. Like, you can't face the devil by yourself or something like yeah. that, right? I'm like, is this where this is going? Mm-hmm. Nope. Maybe. <laughs> it could maybe it went yeah. there so we're like honest, what the holy hell I mean maybe maybe this is Jerry's consciousness getting revenge I mean see that's what I thought at a certain point like that did it's still, it that did be. go through my mind that I'm yeah. like did he take over the, he's the ghost he, he, right that's yeah. haunting the okay, thing but, but they, is it a ghost but if it's if it's if they're using human brains right like they imply how do we know they didn't use his brain after he died? And right. you know, how, or how do we know he wasn't sacrificed to you know be the brain of the elevator? Right. Because so that's it's, it. Could be. So there is a, there. There's your motive for why it's killing people. I suppose that's true because we never actually do find out what is actually happening because there is a so Chip, mm-hmm. uh, the the investigative uh, nerd nerd at yeah. the, the newspaper. Does some investigating of uh, was it Steinberg Steinberg uh, yeah Gunter? of his history yes and finds out this stuff about how he was he's experimenting in the, he was in the Harvard then he was in the military he's been kicked out of a few places because he fucked up as they keep saying yeah mm-hmm. and he relates to Naomi Watts over the phone but we're on her side of it you know because it's like he says and they started using dolphin brains but that's not what they're using now and she's like oh my god and then we cut away and it's never it's, addressed again it, yes. so I'm like they're using the baby thought it was the baby of the yeah. like, that's why those women were given birth at the beginning or right. like what the, they, it's they, never they, addressed they could have well I was saying they could have been like your baby died in the as the in, because of the elevator impact and we're sorry yeah. and then and then squirreled the babies away to use yeah. for later because you know but i i'm sticking with my theory i mean which like i mean pick your own fucking theory for this movie they all work but my theory is that jerry found out too much they offed him and decided to use his brain for the elevator brain and his consciousness transferred so he's like but i'll get you use- bastards but, i mean why uh, not why yeah. but why use his brain because they wanted to use they, they had a brain and they were like we can upgrade he needed, he needed and he was, brain. yeah and he understood and who knew it was gonna come yeah. alive and take yeah revenge. he understood <laughs> there it is maybe they thought it could fix itself if yeah. it had the brain of an elevator mechanic oh my okay, god there, guys, this the more you genius. say this I'm, uh, yeah. but why is it a fucking elevator why I in the elevator? Know. I don't know because there is a, well, okay. Well, but first of all, <laughs> that's true. Why, why, to, why the So there is going to be a scene eventually where Ron Perlman and uh, Mike Lyonside are together in a car yeah. yes. with a bunch of accusational underneath things. an overpass where you can see the skyline yep. of Manhattan in the background, so you know it's a secret meeting. Yep, yep. this has gone too far. Yep. We have to shut it down and we have to kill it. But that scene happens because their hand is forced because of this scene with all the people. In the elevator car. Yes. Okay. Yes. So everybody gets in the elevator. You ever see the prank uh, on social media where um, people get into an elevator and then the floor is monitors and shit and they uh, make it look like the floor collapsed that's and so people mean. get scared and they're like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, that's they like did that, that in uh, House on Haunted Hill. Oh, that's did they? Didn't they do the thing where the... The, the monitors on the floor. I do you think, think that oh, the, they think yeah. they're falling? Through I think the, so. I think yeah. you're right. Was that Ooh. in an elevator? Was that in the elevator going up? Going on up, the roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. You started at the bottom. Ever yeah. seen one like that? But yeah. Um. So yeah, they're on their way up. The bottom of the elevator drops off as this thing shooting up to the and top. And it is like a packed elevator, like yep. asses and they to elbows. Immediately start to freak out. Yeah. Like 
It, uh, it, the, it's like it didn't get off on my floor. Oh, when it just started yeah. going just fast. Started going, and yeah. they're like, it's going too fast. The yeah. one kid pees himself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Like, the doors are camera. barely closed. Okay, but to be fair, this, this same building has had a handful of elevator incidents in what, like a week? Yeah, true. You know, like, I think they have a right to be scared, but like... Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm guessing if they're taking the elevator, they didn't know about those incidents. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. It's all yeah, over yeah. the news. But, but yeah, that's what, like, they keep reporting on it. They so, had a yeah. press conference yeah. that we've caught the crazy dude who's done this. Yeah. This elevator, so yeah, the bottom, <laughs> the floor rips out of it. Yep. All these people are one by one dropping to their and death. And hitting the thunking cross off the, beams, yeah. yeah. Uh, and eventually the thing up the shoots roof. up through the fucking roof yep. of the building and lodges itself in the superstructure. Yep. At this point, we cut to the White House, where the President <laughs> of the United States addresses. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And it's like, in our greatest city, yeah. there's been a terrorist attack. And that's you know? why I always feel myself crawling inside my skin, because I'm like, oh, they had no idea. Like, th this movie could not have picked a worse time to come out, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, really. Like, wow, the language used, like, yeah. the way this is handled. The, I'm like, surprised it came out wow, at all. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, wow. Yeah. Like, Even two years later. When the, F when the FBI is looking at the footage of the vans in the underground parking garage. I'm yep. like, this is exactly what did happen. Like, yeah, this, well, oh. they, that's when they, I think, they, so, yeah, so that, you know, now we've got a major incident. That's why there's this meeting of, like, you got to yeah. shut it down. Yeah. The FBI descends as a SWAT team force it's gonna on the, whole the building. FBI. Yeah. The whole FBI. Yeah, the whole, <laughs> that building is empty wherever it's sitting yes. right now. Like, it, yeah, the whole FBI, the entire police force of New York yeah. has decided to go to the building and wait. Okay, For, yeah, this is what? my, okay, so I'm going to ask a dumb question here that I asked during the movie because I was trying to brain work this and I'm okay, like, okay. I'm like, okay, don't hurt. There's guys in SWAT gear going, you know, clearing floors and yep. you're going all, you got a command center. Yep. Okay. What are they doing there? They're there to make sure. Yeah. No more, no <laughs> more, ter no more terror is, is in this one building. Mission, in the one building, yeah. they're there to make yeah. sure. That there will be no more terrorists. Yes. Okay. Plots but this leads in this to building. one of the greatest lines in the movie because uh, uh, Mark and Jennifer are like, now they're like, okay, there's definitely something going on and only we can solve it. And so uh, they conspire to get him inside the building where that in itself was amusing because she's driving the car. Because For some reason, he's wanted as a suspect. Maybe. I'm not maybe, even sure maybe, why maybe. he's hiding in the back of the, the van. Know. And so she's trying to get through security. And then like, that's not working. <laughs> Somehow he gets out of the van in a way I'm that's like the, impossible. I'm with the elevator company. What, what's in the back of your van? Elevator stuff, you know. Yeah. Like I'm with Could the company. More <laughs> suspicious. They told me to come. She's horrible. Yeah. She's horrible at it. He ends up crawling underneath a. You said sideshow Bob. That's he's a, sideshow Bob. It's a Cape Fear reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. It is. Yeah, but he yeah, gets yeah. Out, Under the car. Possibly he gets out of the van. Yeah. Yeah, possibly yeah. they are surrounded yeah. by a thousand police officers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, and he cape fears he cape yeah. under well, she, well, a police gets, van. Yeah. And rides into the building so he can... And then the movie becomes Die Hard. Yes, And you're like, does. what has fucking it happened yeah. to this movie? This guy is running around like, you know, I mean, I, he is like John McClane. He but is. He's yeah. If yeah. you remember... Problem. He's a special for he's a marine. Yes. So it's like, right. oh, this is all like Okay, maybe up. that comes into what your yeah. what the believability should be. So he goes into the building and then he's like able to ride elevator. He's he fucking get on the and because he's also an elevator mechanic, yes. he's able to get on top of the elevator and ride around. Now, okay, so so he's turning elevators on. He has to go up to the top and turn it on, which yeah. is when that line happens because the FBI guy in the command center is like, wait. Are you saying that there's a terrorist in this building right now? To which I'm like, what are you doing said, yeah, here? Yeah, like, yeah. What? Why are you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? Yeah. What are you waiting? What are you looking for? Just, what, now? Yeah. <laughs> what else, dude? <laughs> Um, I hate. I hate. I know. So terrorists there are also, attacking. Did, there was a throwaway line about Bin Laden too, wasn't there? Oh yeah, because well, the whole SWAT team's coming in and they're setting up. They've got rocket launchers. They're coming in like Die Hard. Yeah, they're carrying they the rocket have launchers. Rocket launchers. Yes, okay, I just multiple. want you to stop for a minute and appreciate. <laughs> to fight a haunted elevator. <laughs> right, just in case. Yeah. And in, in a very closed quarter building. Yep. They have rocket launchers. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> okay, but <laughs> so what was the question? <laughs> 
What? Uh, 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 bin Laden. They oh, yeah, Bin Laden. Well, yeah, because they're saying anything, and they're just like, uh, this is like uh, back when they, they mentioned the they towers, said, well, the you know, 10 years ago, they tried to take the yes. towers down. And when they said that, I was like, it was, that was a jump scare. I was like, oh, my God. Like, they don't even they're know like, what right. they're saying right now. Yeah, we're going down. All right, say hi yeah. to Bin Laden for me. I'm just like, whoa. Whoa, yeah. Because <laughs> wow, he, wow, wow, wow. he was the yeah. uh, uh, most wanted at yep. the time. Yep. Um, but Mark is in an elevator shaft, mm. right, with a flashlight. And he's riding it up. And he's looking all around. And I was sitting there going like. What are we looking for? What's he looking for? I don't understand the motive of this character. No, I don't know because we we I absolutely have no idea what he's looking for. No, it hasn't come in an earlier conversation or what anything. Well, we don't know. I thought right because he's looking for anything. The way that the movie set it up, and I don't know if this is where your head was at also, but Jeff, the other mm-hmm. suspicious partner, right? Right. When they well. first go in to look at the building. Jeff is like, I'll look at the computer system that's up here and check to make sure it's working. You go check the actual elevator safety stuff itself, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, Jeff is sending him away so he can look at the smart brain that he's involved in so he can keep this secret. So Mark goes up there and we see the computers smashed, Mm. you know, and the fucking elevators through the top of the building. And we're like. What did he go up there for? Okay, but when he's out on his way up there, he goes up there. I have just more to turn questions now. I think on, about but... this. Uh, he he sees blood paintings on the. This wall? is when he so when he's in the shaft riding yeah. the elevator up. Yeah. Yep. He sees what a graffiti and what looks like blood, but mm. there's also falcon. Uh, so wait, is the brain eating the falcons? Is that what's happening okay. here? I think the falcons. Uh, from what they, I think the falcons are attracted to it. Because when they go up, it's mentioned earlier in the building. Okay. It's like, yeah, they're tr- attracted to the magnetics or something. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. The, there's a throwaway comment about why falcons live on this building. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is. Yeah. And the falcons come back later and there's yeah. remnants of them. So maybe the thing is eating them. But we'll never who, know. Who, did the thing paint that phrase on the wall? And what was the phrase? Oh. Shingle? Shang- yeah, what was that? No, we didn't get a really good look at it. No. Like it wasn't important. It looked like no. strange for a minute, but I had an O on the end. Yeah. So it was like Strango or strange, something. I don't know what I, it, know. I don't know the significance. Probably just says slush O. And and slush like, what, J. Oh, yeah. Abrams. Maybe. It was a, yeah. Well, he and, wasn't around then, right? But like in the character the, looks yeah, at it. Yeah, he lost things. and all that stuff. But like the character looks at it and like processes it. Like, yeah. It, like he knows what it is. Yeah. yeah. And... Just knowing how this movie ends, I'm. This is even more puzzling. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so I'm. I'm also. Who did I'm this? With you. I'm. I'm puzzled. <laughs> yes. I don't know because. Yeah. So eventually, though, he does uncover the the villain of the movie. Find some ooze. And the ooze <laughs> he does. Leads. He's following ooze. Yep. Because the, the we're saying that this thing moves. It moves around. Yep. It, it at least th- drips. I, think, it dri- it drips I don't think ooze. it moves. It moves other things because it moves cables as we'll soon yeah. see. Um. It brings things to it, right? Because it is a organic but still electrical thing. It, it can control all the other parts of it. Like its its reach extends to it, the, the whole building, yeah. and oh, that's yeah. why it can control gotcha. the cars and, this is like and the, the nucleus parking of it, yeah. garage. Because eventually, it does kind of call the uh, the the smashed elevator. It lights it on fire with an electrical storm. Oh yeah, there and is brings just it electrical down yeah. to try and kill lightning. him, My right? I'm like, and then there's like crazy. So the thing is this pulsating, um, like sinewy like purple growth type yes. thing. Yeah, right. But yep. It looks like a bunch of cotton. Maybe that's yep. like stretched <laughs> over cotton candy uh, with an air duct yeah. or something. It's some part yeah. of the elevators. Mm-hmm. Uh, electrical system. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so he's stabbing at it. He's going to kill it. And so it sends the fucking elevator down to try and kill him. And then there's this whole he's- thing with him getting his foot caught at the bottom of another it's like elevator. It's like that scene in Skyscraper. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? This is like- He's doing flips. He, yeah. He, he gets his foot loose from that and he just falls. And I think he hits a wall and bounces off of it, but then grabs onto a beam and flips. And this this the, is like some Uncharted shit. I this know. This would happen this in Uncharted. This is like a big yeah. fucking deal. It's like, yeah. guess what? Like the, because the thing hits the ceiling and then like the the uh, rock, the, the concrete starts falling down on yeah. him. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. That's a whole thing. Then that elevator hits another elevator. The SWAT team has been going nuts at this point, so mm-hmm. they're trying to look and see what's going on. So everybody's converging on this location because they're all like, you know, something's happening on the 65th floor, yep. right? And so 
they blow open the doors at a certain point. Well, yeah, but Mark is like, man, I, I know where the thing is. And so he goes and gets one of those stinger missiles, which is he's going to blow that fucking thing away. It's, it's which not even I one appreciate. Where, where those, like there's a smaller <laughs> version of that where it's just like you, you pull it out a little bit and oh, like, yeah, yeah. shoot it. That's the one from Invasion USA. I was yeah. say, we need to make a compilation <laughs> of every movie we've watched that has a rocket launcher yeah. because it's always great when it yeah, shows yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Because oh, no, you're great. like, this yeah. movie's going to end with a bang. But <laughs> it's so it's so comically oversized for what's happening yeah. here to point into an elevator shaft it's like that's gonna <laughs> hurt you more than anything yeah <laughs> that's gonna, i know like, imagine the, yeah i mean that thing has an exhaust yeah. right, but imagine the blowback if yeah. fucking five feet in front of you you try and right. blow something up right well, i saw what happened well we did yeah. see what happened. okay but anyway it turns out michael ironside is there He's he has going. gotten himself into the building on his fbi code red uh clearance yeah and the FBI knows who this guy is, and they're like, oh, shit, maybe it wasn't terrorists all along. So they're now hunting for him, too, right? right? Yeah. Which is, th- that line is the only thing that explains what happens at the end where they just kind of let everybody go, like, give them space. You know, like, they've had, they've been through a lot. Sure. But, so then you get, like, uh, the, the Mexican standoff, right? right. Where he comes in with a gun just before um, Mark is, is about to shoot the heart out of the thing. Yeah, because yeah. this is his baby, right? This is going to change yes. how My human beings work. are in the future. He says, "We got to start with the elevators, and then it'll <laughs> change the world." Is that so? Is what he was working on this top secret project, and then uh, he got fired, and so the only job that he could get was working for an elevator company. I feel and then like he started working on AI or this thing for an I elevator. Think he started well, I think it's a good place to hide it, right? Probably. Well, you I know? mean, it was for a yeah. while, but I think he probably started too big. Like, because he was in the military and everything, we're like, we yeah. can apply this to this. And he's like, I fucked that up. Well, I fucked it up again. All right, we got to get smaller. I'm starting yeah. with the elevator. Right. If I can make this work. <laughs> a smart elevator. Then I the mean, world. look where we are now. Yeah. <laughs> Today, the elevators. Tomorrow, the world. Yeah. He's a visionary, uh-huh. Colin. Yeah. yeah. You just don't understand his genius. So there's a there's a there's a fight between the two guys. It's like, well, one of them's gonna go over the edge of this mm-hmm. uh, into this empty shaft. But then uh, Naomi Watts shows up <laughs> with a gun that right. she's able to go like, let him go. Yeah. And so uh, Mark is like, okay, taking this opportunity, I'm going to blast that motherfucker into next year. Well, yeah, I thought uh, that he was going to shoot Ironside, who would then go into the into the heart and blow up, and yep. which would be like, all right, Chuck Norris would be proud. Right. But no, the SWAT team shows up. No, the fucking elevator yes. grabs its the SWAT, creator. No, the SWAT team shows up first. Did they see this? Everyone sees this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Every yeah. single oh, one right. of them. Okay, which yeah, is why it's weird that it's not addressed. Yeah, well, I think yeah. that's why that's the... Let's give him a break. We yeah. all just saw some oh, shit. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, maybe you're that's right. That's the only reason I got okay. that. I didn't no. even process that, <laughs> right, but, but you're no, right. He, they, I think that's why. Like, <laughs> yeah. We've all been through something. <laughs> Group all trauma, take a moment. yes. Y'all saw that, right? But he, like, um, yeah, uh, the SWAT team shows up. Uh, sh- Naomi Watts gets away from him. And so he's just standing there kind of looking crazy. And then the all the cables come in and grab Michael Iron's side and take him away. And like wrap around his neck and his yep. torso, like yep. all over his snake. Like, like, so that's yeah. the Frankenstein thing, right? Yep. The monster hates its maker. For yes. His, mm-hmm. you know, yes, because it's Jerry and he's getting vengeance. Is that what we're yeah. saying? That's what, that's what I'm choosing At to believe. At one point, I it's think. It's making more sense. Yeah. Somebody, maybe it's Ron Perlman in that conversation under the bridge, says something about like it's getting revenge on humanity there or, is, or something because we, we have no motive to ascribe to right. this thing. Yeah. Why it's killing people, why it's toying with little preschool girls and why right. it's you know, beheading other people and blasting skateboarders or rollerbladers out of no, killing, no killing dogs for no reason. Well, yeah. to be fair, it was trying to kill the blind. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. yeah. Suck the, he, he brought the dog yeah. into this. Yeah. Um, but Mark also gets caught up in a cable and starts to get dragged in. And then Naomi Watts throws him the rocket launcher. And as he's being pulled in with, it's gotta be within a distance of like five feet. Yeah. He launches that fucking rocket and yep. gets blown back into the hallway. Yes. And the monster's dead. Yep. It was something to behold. <laughs> let me tell Unexpected you. Unexpected. <laughs> yes. I did not know rocket least. launchers were going to come into this movie at all. No. no. This whole action, like second half of the movie was like, whoa. Yeah. We yeah. have gone big. <laughs> to Especially the White for House. how like lethargic to the, the first House. act of this yeah. movie was, you know? Yeah. Um, we assume that these two are going to go and uh, they, get busy. They oh, get they busy do. an elevator yeah. to yeah. love in an elevator yeah. by Which, Aerosmith. Like, if you had been through this kind of trauma, is Never this really again. where you want to, like... Never again. I The fact that they were even setting foot in another elevator after this was insane to me. Like, yeah. I thought, I thought, this is how I would have written it, is they make a joke about, like, oh, you, you want to go on a 
take take the stairs, huh? Like that's what that's I would have written. That's how it should have yeah, been. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take the stairs. Yeah, yeah. So then the music comes up. Yeah, and, uh, and then movie over. Yeah. But then you don't get going down in an elevator, so you, know, <laughs> you don't. But then, in an uh, well, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> that's why you gotta figure out what you want. And what <laughs> I like more because they're yeah. both just like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I understand what yeah. you did there. Wow. Um, well, we went down the shaft. Yes, yep. we did. Down, yeah. down. Will we ever come back? The up? shaft. <laughs> well, let's find out if we would recommend this movie to the good folks at home. But first of all, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do you think he's been in an elevator? Dumb waiter. Do you think he's like a, a dumb waiter? <laughs> yeah. A dumb waiter. Dumb waiter. Yep. Dumb waiters. Those are just personal elevators, you know? I mean, yeah. 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 That's about yeah. how tall he is. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, we want to invite you to participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday, Saturday Night Freak, Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Yahoo. Com. Or you can follow along at Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. When Holly's not here, we'll, we'll tag yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I like that this is a thing. Um, so MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, uh, yes. wants us to know that we have inducted Michael Ironside. Oh, wow. Saturday I'm surprised. Night Freak yeah. Show. I'm surprised it took this long. I know. Prom you know, night two. Yes. <laughs> with the veiny, horny rocking horse. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Um, I love that movie. Uh, I'm sad I wasn't here for that. Oh episode. my god, crazy! <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that movie was nuts. Yeah. Movie. Another one. I hadn't seen it before, and it was like, yeah, what the nuts. hell? See, I would have thought we've done. But there was something else. No, we have, we've never done thought. scanners, so it no, is no, uh, Watchers. Watchers. Is he a military guy in that one? I think so. He might have been the, part of the team that created that. I can't remember actually. I don't. I, know, I think that was the movie that made yeah, me unsettled Corey as a 15 year old. So I don't. Um. Hallway of Fame is Peter Banks. He was uh, a maintenance chief in the shaft. He was also a policeman gotcha. in Death Wish 3 and a priest in Highlander. Well, so Was oh. there a rocket launcher in Death Wish 3? There was a minigun. Minigun, okay. I remember, okay. I remember <laughs> wait, somebody wait, 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 getting wait, blown no. out of Was there a rocket yeah, launcher? Yeah, I thought so. Someone got blown out of the building. Remember at the I end? I think oh. there might have been true. I think yeah. he got it like mail order. And we were like, yeah. how did it? Oh, yes, the yes, he did. The, the rocket mail launcher? Yeah. Rocket launcher? Okay. Yes. Yes, so Michael Ironside's in a lot of rocket launcher movies is what I'm getting. Well, no, no, Peter that, Banks, I'm Peter sorry. Banks was yeah. in that, yeah. Um, so about tonight's movie, Loudy Out says, I just finished oh. watching this, and I will have to say that it's a big improvement over Ma's Dutch language original, The Lift, from 1983. It's still not as awesome as his Amsterdam, though. If you haven't seen that one, I can't. I can highly recommend it. It's basically a Dutch giallo, and it has such a spectacular speedboat chase through the canals of Anst Amsterdam. Oh, Ooh. my God. Okay, we're going to be spending more time with Dick Moss, I think. Dick Moss. More time with Dick Moss. I think this should be your summer thing. <laughs> yeah, like, this. It's like, we're traveling abroad with Dick Moss. <laughs> well, Steve Carney has read what we read on IMDb. He says the film was released in May 2001, so it's scary to hear anything to do with terror attacks mentioned knowing that it would happen four months later in real life. If you haven't seen them, the lift in Amsterdam are also from the same director and they're great. Amsterdam has a theme song and it rules. <laughs> oh my God. What year is Man. Amsterdam? 88. Oh, oh this sounds great. Yep. This <laughs> sounds perfect. Everything's coming together Man. for Amsterdam. I, I need Dick Moss to start doing conventions so I can meet him. And yeah. get, I need to see, hear some Especially stories he and get some like stuff a, signed. Yeah. A real life matrix. Yeah. If he, he, he better does. show up. He better have like an that. entrance. <laughs> yeah. Full head to toe, black leather trench coat. Yeah. He's got a duster neck. for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, Good evening, all. <laughs> well, I am Dick Moss. Last week we watched uh, Scream Six. We did. Oh yeah, we uh, did. MF Mad says we missed that. We have added Roger Jackson. Oh, oh congratulations! Yay! The voice Roger of Jackson. Bravo! He's Roger integral Jackson. to that franchise. Yeah. Yep. he's the yes. Mm -hmm. And also Skeet Ulrich. Oh, Because nice. uh, we did yeah. Scream, Scream Six. I mean, we did The Craft. Right. Well, we yep. did. That's right, because he wasn't in Scream. Not in Scream two or four. Two or four. No. Uh, and no, we also did uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in which case he was a th uncredited thug. Huh. In that what? Movie. Yep. Wow. Interesting. There I had no go. idea. Um, movie Bacon mm -hmm. says, uh, bacon. Uh, we just watched Scream 6 last night. It's much better than the last one. We can stare into Jenna Ortega's soulless eyes for hours. <laughs> New York City was cool enough setting, even though no one got their heads punched off. Yeah. Why did nobody get their heads? No one got their heads. Yeah. Or even would have been, been fun. Nice Again, we had our problems with 
Not yeah. thing. Come on, Ghostface and, and I mean, it's and, Paramount. And, they could do it, right? They could have done yeah. it, right? Yeah. Uh, Novato Judoka says, "Okay, my homework's done. The only thing I'll accept now is that Scream Seven, Sydney versus Sam, is a WrestleMania type showdown where Sam completes her for- forced forced ghost type training and embraces the dark side." Sydney takes her on to defend the original better trilogy of movies. Make Scream 7 the final cut. Make Stabbing Better Again. Or Matter <laughs> yeah, makes, Again. Yes. Yes. Uh, hashtag <laughs> Make Stabbing Matter Again. Thank you. I kind of like the idea of Sam fully embracing it and then going after Sydney. I, yeah. I like that idea, <laughs> the too. The ultimate final girl. I do like that. It, maybe idea. that's the yeah. planning to wrap up the trilogy. I, you got to get Nev back you know what? to I do that, I can't say. Though. Who knows? Yeah. Um, no, 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 because it's who's no. I figured it out. Part seven is either going to be someone, her long lost brother, or her mom, mm-hmm. or or Amber. They set up the mom big time. They did the set up the mom big time. Yeah. But but just to continue on, it's yeah. going to be her long lost brother because why not? <sighs> well, Mark Harrison says the Scream series is a bloody soap opera now. Anything can happen because of that. There are no stakes. It, exactly. The, there was no stakes to that last movie at all. Stabbing yeah. doesn't yeah. matter. Anything can happen. Everyone is stabbed. And they may they turned Chad into Swiss cheese and he lived. <laughs> they did. Uh, Travis Legler says, I'm so grateful for your guys freak show field trips. Thanks. I've gotten to the point with a movie where I enjoy having your podcast first. I find it when I sit down to watch the movie, I can be more objective. It was this way with Halloween 2018. Halloween kills both the it movies and the new pet cemetery. So yeah. I'm grateful for this. Oh, and thanks. I hope it's good. I thanks. think it's interesting. We help you be more objective. I, I like that. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. that's really, perspective yeah. perspective, then watch the movie and go, yeah. it's not as bad as they said. Right. I like that. I'm glad we're providing that <laughs> right. for somebody. You can go, you can do it either way. Yeah. I like that we, you can put us anywhere in that. You can see it before the movie, you can see it after the movie. Sometimes I'll do watch both. Sometimes I'll listen before, watch the movie, and then listen again. Sure. Oh, I'll yeah. do that with podcasts. Because then you know yeah. what they're saying. Yep. Well, Peter Gatt says, last weekend I was going into it thinking, well, I hated the last one, so I don't have much faith in this franchise. But you know what? I enjoyed it more than four and five. Interesting. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, five cream. Oh, yeah. Five okay. cream. Five we, cream. Were, we were calling Scream Five, five cream, yeah. saying it should have done that with the numeral. Yep. And Michael Whitaker says, five cream sounds like an entirely different movie for a very different audience. Indeed. It's the Scream porn I hope, parody. I hope there's a porn parody out there called that. Five Cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Michael, Cream. Michael Piatowski says, the new Scream movies from Radio Silence are really good. We can all be thankful that David Gordon Green is not involved. I will. Agree. Yeah, I'll agree to that. Because, I mean, we're about to get the double whammy of the Exorcist trilogy coming from him soon, right? Yay. So, Yay. Just what I we all want. Wait. Yeah. Just what we need. A trilogy of the Exorcist. Yep. Yeah. Uh, make one make yeah. one good one make, just, yeah. try, just do that make a yeah. movie. Just do, fuck the other two make a good one yep. hey write, write your own movie how about that write, write your own IP <laughs> stop remaking shit uh, Kryptonian Orphan says I really think AMC and Regal could have had a fantastic movie going experience if during the preview portion Ghostface would have been stalking or killing Nicole Kidman and Maria Menudos, respectively, during both their movies are awesome bits. Think of how cool that would have been. Oh, that See, would have been those so are the cool. Things I want. I yeah. want little changes like that where she goes and sits in there and he's right behind right her. Right behind her. <laughs> and then Yeah. Oh, that just, would have just been so small good. promotional things just to play when the movie's out, and then we go back to the original stuff. Yeah, because there was be so fun. much other promotion for this. But so. is it only Paramount movies where they get the stars in the movies to like welcome you to the to going to movies? They're like, thanks for coming to theaters. Maybe I don't know. I haven't paid they did attention it enough. Screen, yeah, they did, and they did yeah. it at Top Gun. Yeah. Tom Cruise uh, is like, thanks for coming to movies, guys. You know, um, don't I'm, I won't be coming back. Don't thank me anymore. Go Paramount. Yeah. Um, the week before, we watched a movie called There's Nothing Out There, and uh, Stephen Helicopter, who was kind of uh, uh, upset that we weren't picking enough uh, boom. And, How and do you feel about this he, one, sir? He said, great pick, more there picks like this. Yeah, all right. And Stratos That, felt, that felt very monosyllable. Like, oh, great pick. <laughs> Boobs. He has, Boy, pick more. Sean, he has to fit it on the banner when he flies by. Oh, yeah, remember? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he specifically called you out, too. Yeah. He's like, oh, you got to yeah. pick more of these. Yeah. Apparently. He dropped pamphlets that week. You weren't here. But he, 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 he dropped pamphlets. Pamphlets when he buzzed by that said, Sean, pick more boob movies. Okay. Okay. So. Boob movies. Yeah. Mood and, boobs uh, is next. Yeah. Mood boobs was, the, yeah. And uh, Stratos Stalamana said the boobs uh, help to keep my interest. They it, always it, do. That's <laughs> usually what they're there for. That's yeah. what they're there for. Yeah. Just like, oh, um, nobody's going to get killed for a while. Boobs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Colin. Uh, thank you very much uh, for writing in, all of you. Yes, it sounds like I'm you. going first. Then. I would think so. I'll pick myself one of these days. But tonight, <laughs> you will be going first. What did you think of... Down slash the shaft. 
you know, it's a movie that as I'm sitting there objectively looking at it, I'm like, okay, this is a bad movie. It, it has like, um, the tone of it. Right. I mean, on one hand, I would say it's overcooked or overwrought or like it's cranked up to 11 in a lot of scenes where it's like the, the, the German preschool teacher, (laughs) the, you know, the, um, the voodoo, uh, yeah. you know, she goes you know, nowhere. The, the crazy just, wife, the, the stuff with the FBI. I mean, like stuff like it's just like, what do you do? Like these are these are cranked, amped up scenes. The skateboard, or the the rollerbladers, all this other stuff. There's a constant um, kind of I don't know how to describe that either. There's like a disconnect in the tone between, and I think it's the the fact that it's made you know in the Netherlands, yeah probably with english speaking people but they sound like they're dubbed or they're doing their line it, it yeah. just feels it's weird it's like it's american but it's like an alternate uh usa yeah. everything's slightly it's like, off yeah. Every, yeah there's a that's it it it's just bizarro. feels off yeah. it's bizarro world so that was kind of like all right and then that first hour man it <laughs> just kind of felt like you know are we ever gonna go anywhere and is there anything actually gonna happen and how is this all fitting together? And you're not, the script is not very efficient. The editing's not very efficient. And then it makes this turn. And then it becomes this absolutely crazy fucking movie that entertained the shit out of me for like an hour. So I, I, I'm sitting here going like, okay, it's because it caught me off guard, right? Mm-hmm. I was like not prepared mm. uh, for that level of insanity. Right. You know, when right. you're going like, okay, it's going to be a movie about a haunted elevator. And then they're calling the president of the United States <laughs> and a stinger <laughs> missile is brought in at the end to deal with where the alien more, menace. Where was more of this in the beginning <laughs> of the movie? Yes. Right, right. They do not get there fast enough. So I am going to recommend it, but it's going to be with a caveat because I don't know, right? If you were watching this solo, g- expecting something out of it, you might sit there going like, you guys are insane. This, yeah. this is just bad. But I got a lot of entertainment value out of this so much so that I think I'm going to, I'm going to recommend it and say, you got to check this out. Cause it's nuts. I mean, that's, I guess the upside to it. It's crazy. You have to see how crazy it is. And I mean, it's entertaining. It doesn't answer any questions. It's, you know, it doesn't no. big gaping uh, plot holes at the end. Uh, I'm okay with that. Cause it was sure. nuts. Yep. Sean, what do you think? <sighs> Tough one. Mm. Tough. Because I was sitting here thinking this whole time, I'm not recommending this movie. I still don't know if I'm going to recommend this movie. It, ugh. I suppose, I suppose the weirdness, the bizarroness that you spoke about, I think that might be enough to carry you to the actual craziness. Just because you're watching it and you're like, something's, something's weird here. He's weird. They're weird. Nobody's really acting. It, they're trying to make, uh, they're trying to put a lot of, of, uh, uh, European people into a New York movie and it's funny to watch them try and do the New York accents but slip in and out of it maybe the weirdness can take you to the end I don't want to watch it again to find out um, but should you watch it again this is a tough one uh, uh, if you this one might be one you listen to us first then go watch the movie because I think I think we will add to the viewing of this movie Especially when we were talking about how the like the um, the lethal weapon of it all, where yes. Ron Perlman playing a police chief, just, yep. yeah. but he's just the head of an elevator company. Yes, exactly. But he's chewing his guy out. And we're like, telling you that there's something worth sticking with it. Yeah, absolutely. You know. All right. I think the saving grace is the last half of this movie. I'll recommend it just because it does get fucking weird and crazy, and you're just and you won't un- you, <laughs> you you won't understand. You won't believe what these people are doing at the end. And there's a full rocket launcher at the end of this one. It's so goofy. Uh, yeah, I'll recommend it. My, uh, it, uh, it won me over in that second half. Woo! That, that was that's a that's a that's a movie. Uh, Michaela, take us home. <laughs> I we there was so much to talk about with this movie, but we glossed over a line that really caught me off guard, and I think it's in the trailer for this movie. Uh-huh. But it's when um, Naomi Watts and James Marshall are driving in one of their many driving scenes yes. together, and it's just dead silent. And she turns to him and just goes, "I think that elevator's haunted." Yep, and like is dead serious about it. Like, and then they have a serious discussion about whether or not the elevator's haunted. So like that, and about chips fucking. And yep, like they have serious fucking, conversations yeah. about weird things. Uh, this, I mean, this went above and beyond what I could have ever expected for a haunted elevator movie. You know. And 
and I knew going into it, it was a haunted elevator movie. I knew it was going to like decapitate someone, but I thought it was going to be like, yeah, like a possessed elevator thing, yeah. you know, it's or take you to hell. Especially yeah. when there's white lights sucking people. Right. Yeah. Well, and like, yeah, I thought it was going to be more like a hell demonic kind of thing, especially because like Naomi Watts talks about like, well, maybe it was built on Indian burial ground. She puts out all these yeah, ideas, she does. you know, she throws out everything. Yeah. It's like, why? Or, or even like a poltergeist situation, you know, something has possessed this elevator. But I love that it took a weird sci-fi left turn that like had a weird sci-fi explanation. And it was just I, this movie's so fucking insane. And I agree, though, what you guys are saying. The first half is tough. We we were talking out loud over that part a lot of the movie because we could tell the information was not at all important. That it didn't matter. And it, it was so slow. Like, that's when we were doing our brainstorming about, like, okay, so the clown gets in the elevator with the guy that's afraid of clowns. <laughs> like, that's when we were doing all that because they keep setting up, like, ooh, look at all these innocent tourists going into this building. And it's like, and nothing okay, happens. yes, yeah. The yeah. 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 clown gets into the elevator, his balloons get stuck outside, and yeah. all you see is all of a sudden they go down. Yeah. And, they get, <laughs> and, and we, we were just kind of, like, worse case scenario like if you got stuck in an elevator what would be the worst situation you know yeah it and, leads to interesting thoughts yeah exactly nothing else um but we did not fully engage with the movie until that it really ramped up and became an action movie but like i think it's still worth watching for all the crazy stuff that does happen i agree with you sean though i think you should listen first um just because like it is so easy to quit on this movie because the first hour is just yeah, not it much might, going yeah, on. Yeah, it might be easy because yeah. we had some people quit on a movie beforehand. Yeah, right? so it's like yeah, it might be easy to quit on this movie. Right, right. You'll get something out of it. Yeah, <laughs> you basically get to mentally write your own movie. Yeah, exactly. As you watch this, this is a great creative exercise, if nothing else. It'll <laughs> yeah. inspire a ton of ideas, but. Uh, I mean, I'm all in on Dick Moss now. I can't wait to watch for the rest of his movies, Amsterdam and Prey. Write that down. Michaela is all, all in, in on, on yeah, Dick get, let, it, let it be known. Yes, <laughs> I'm all in, and I hope he does conventions or something so I can meet him. Uh, I'm so down. Like, I have a million questions I want to ask. You know, I want to ask him, is it Jerry's consciousness that's in? I, I want to know that. I need to know. <laughs> so. Dick Moss, right into the show. Let us know what the answer yeah. is there. If you're out there um, listening, we let don't us want know. to start beef. We want to start the opposite of a beef, like a I'm, good relationship. I'm, so I'm very sorry to um, what's his name? Larry Black. No, fuck Larry Black. Ernesto. Oh, Ernesto, Ernesto Gastaldi. Gastaldi. Yeah, yeah, very sorry again. I want to apologize, Ernesto. I think I'll do that for the rest of this year, <laughs> just to make sure there's no hit out on me. Yeah, uh, I would recommend it. I think I think you got to check it out. But I agree, Sean. Listen to us first, and then watch it. So. I have no idea how. And it's on Amazon Prime. This. If you have Prime, it's on Prime for it, free. So it's free. Yeah. So that's crazy. Yep. Oh, wow. So this is a freak show approval. Yeah. Oof. I think Holly would have liked this movie. I don't know. I can't tell with Holly because she didn't recommend. There's something out. I mean, I know it was my yeah, movie, but that's true. Like, she didn't. And they had a boom mic swing, so I, right. I mean, it depends on Holly's mood and whether yeah. she would recommend yeah. this stuff. So I'm gonna. I'm oh, hard again. Hard to say. Yep. Hard to say. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for uh, listening to us this far. Uh, next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. What are we gonna do after the Shaft? Uh, it's a tough one to follow up, uh, Truly. but I, I don't know. Like we have been dancing around Jalo movies, oh, like no. for every episode that somehow we mentioned Jalos. So we're gonna do another Jalo, an old one. We're gonna do uh, Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace. Oh, cool. Yay! This is my favorite Jalo movie. Oh, really? Okay, it's I like one of the one. like the proto Jalo. Yeah, oh, I, I love the the look. We'll get into it. But From I love what the look of this movie? Nineteen sixty-three. Whoa, oh, yeah. sixty-three. <laughs> 60s. Uh, we'll, Jesus. we'll nail it down next week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, from the sixties. This is mm-hmm. we're going way back. So <laughs> But you will see when we watch this movie how every movie is inspired by this movie. Yeah. Every movie that's we ever keep existed. saying it's uh, Dario Argento brought the colored stuff, but it's Mario it's Baba. Baba. This is mm-hmm. the, the Technicolor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did Baba do um Black Sunday? Remember Which I love I think too. That was the one what's Black the one with the three stories? The shit out of me. Black or was Black yeah. Sabbath. Black Sorry. Sabbath, yeah. yes. He did Black Sabbath? He did both of those. Oh, Black okay, Sabbath, good. Black I like Sabbath Black Sabbath, yeah. and I like the way it looked. I think yeah. Black Sunday has maybe the best cold open in horror history. That's pretty good. It's an burning. amazing one. Yeah, and the yeah. Iron Maiden mask yeah, going into yeah, her yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking ah, awesome. Oh, sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some, I wonder, some of the lines maybe, in that might yeah, also sound familiar. Yeah, inspire, uh, inspire <laughs> a few filmmakers. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, we also did his Danger Diabolic. Uh, right, way right, back right. In the day mm-hmm. too, oh, so. I'm excited for some Baba. I'm, I'm so down. Yeah, Baba's good. We haven't had Baba in a while. I know we haven't. Fuck Argento. I'm tired of talking about him. Let's All right, there we go. We're going to do Mario Bava. Blood and Black Lace. Uh, so you can do your homework. We're doing that next week. Yeah, and until you, then. I was just saying, if you do your homework and your teacher gives you a C on your giallo paper, don't kill <laughs> don't her kill in her. an alley. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. There you go. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll see you next week. And until then, the basement is going dark.